everybody, it's me Carmine DiStefano, the Boot Commander. Since I made such a big deal about getting it last year, and I really have nothing else to talk about, I decided to give us a one year anniversary detail of the Switch console. Now, everyone knows last year I was there when they announced it, I was there to try to get a pre-order of it, didn't get a pre-order of it right away, I was able to get it late in the month, so this is one year give or take since I have it and what are my impressions of the Switch? Well I do think it is exactly what I thought it would be which is the best gaming console. Your Xbox One, nice graphics, but they just make consoles that have no first party establishment whatsoever. The PS4 basically makes the same three games, first person shooters, Dark Souls, or the Naughty Dog God of War, third person, uncharted shooter type thing. With the Switch, you have so many different options with all the different franchises that are exclusive to Nintendo. You also have a lot of indies and a lot of re-releases, like stuff like Payday 2. Who would have thought Payday 2 would be on a Nintendo console? Or L.A. Noir, Or even Elder Scrolls? Or even Doom? I mean, I know, since the Super Nintendo anyway. Or Nintendo 64. But either way, there are so many good games that are out right now for the Switch, and so many good games coming out for the Switch, as it is very, very multifaceted and has an operating system that a lot of people have said is so easy to contour their coding with, making it available for third parties. So if you have the Switch and it's portable and everything like that, you not only get great exclusives, but you also get good third party releases as well that are a little bit more involved than the old stamina, R2, L2, make sure you don't die thing 10,000 different ways, or the old Call of Duty thing, or the Overwatch thing, or a lot of other things that keep repeating themselves over and over and over again in the other two consoles. It is definitely the best console. Nintendo did it again, and with all the games that they have released already, Breath of the Wild, Mario Kart, Super Mario Odyssey, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, even Fire Emblem Warriors, and with so many games coming out in the near future, like Bayonetta 3, Metroid Prime 4, and so on and so forth, the Switch is definitely the go-to console, and it is the cheapest. Now granted, the, uh, there is a problem with memory space, but if you buy physical copies of your games, you won't really have to worry about that. If you want to go downloading some games, yeah, you're going to have to get some SD cards for memory and everything. But other than that, the console itself has been really, really enjoyable to play, and it's helped me get a little bit more popular here on YouTube, and to some extent, Twitch as well. So, works on all levels. So if you haven't gotten yourselves a Switch, I think they're available right now. I don't think it was like it was last year, where you pretty much had to sacrifice young ba bears to get a friggin' Switch pre-ordered. I think now it is a little bit easier to get your hands on, and you don't have to pay $10,000 on eBay or on Amazon, so there you go. Get yourselves a Switch if you haven't gotten one yet, and you can get one. That's the key, too. And thank you all for watching. I have more for you soon to come, so stay tuned, take care, and have a great day.